Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Xbox Soft Mod tutorial. Um, at this stage we can remove our USB device as we no longer require it. And what we're going to do now is grab our legitimate copy of Splinter Cell. Now this is a classic version, um, but any version of Splinter Cell will work. That's why I've chosen it. Uh, it's also possible to do this soft mod with 007 Agent Under Fire and Mech Assault, but these require very early versions of the game, whereas any version of the original Splinter Cell will work. So we place our copy of Splinter Cell in the drive and uh, go through all of the preamble of uh, loading it up until we get to the menu screen. Here we are. Now you'll see that we've been presented with the Splinter Cell menu. If we go into Start Game, you'll see our save game that we copied via the USB stick called Linux. Uh, this is how you know it's worked. If you select Linux, you'll come through to a checkpoint screen. No checkpoints here, but if you select checkpoints, the Xbox will uh, lock up for a sec, and then we should be presented with the Soft Mod menu. Okay, so a plethora of options here, but the first thing that you must, must, must do is back up your existing Xbox hard drive and EEPROM. Now, the EEPROM is uh, kind of the internal uh, BIOS of the Xbox, which you will need a backup of should you ever wish to remove the soft mod. You'll also need to back up your Xbox dashboard. So we'll go through these. This is a pretty long-winded process. I'll, I'll leave it running so that you can see what's going to happen but you need to back up the EEPROM and back up MS-Dash, and it's also a good idea to back up your C drive too. So we'll go through these three uh, in order, and it's a very simple process. Just follow the instructions on the screen um, as I do here. As you can see, what's happening here is that it's backing up all of the critical Xbox information uh, onto a different partition. The E drive partition is used to store uh, information, save games, that kind of thing. So this is ideal, really. You, you should probably back this up onto your computer later, uh, but it's perfectly safe on your E drive as long as you don't overwrite it. Here we are, now we're done. Uh, the only thing left to do is install the soft mod. Now, you go to install the soft mod, you'll have several options, but you just need to go for standard. And you will have a choice of dashboards to install. This is personal preference. Um, I am more familiar with Evo X, so it's my personal favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and install that now. You should note that the installer will not actually let you proceed with the soft mod unless you've backed up your Microsoft settings. This is so you can reverse the soft mod at a later date, uh, should you wish to for any reason.
one successful soft mod. Uh, all you need to do now is shut down the Xbox and when you turn it back on you want to remove the splinter cell CD from the drive as we no longer need it, keep it somewhere safe and we should be presented with the Evo X dashboard and there we go, soft mod complete. Here you can see that you have all of these new options um, including uh, launching games from your hard drive should you wish to engage in such activity, not that I condone it um, and here you are, one soft modded exp There's further information from what you can do from here on our website. And uh, thank you for joining me on my tutorial. I hope you found it informative.